I am Tim, welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we have a delightful, delectable, and as you can see, multiply adorned Rolex Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph Daytona. This is reference 116508. We have a combination of gold, gilded meteorite, black mother of pearl, and diamonds. In a 40 millimeter yellow gold case that is 12.3 millimeters thick, has a 20 millimeter lug spacing, and it features a sizing of 46.5 millimeters from lug to lug, and if you include the solid end links of the bracelet, it is 50.5 millimeters across the wrist. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and get a sense of how it fits. It fits like every Daytona on a bracelet, which is to say, solid, but also compact. Across the wrist, the watch is short enough that a woman could absolutely wear it. The Daytona is a famous unisex power watch, and I've seen it worn with panache by both men and ladies. It's flat enough to fit underneath the cuff if you do want it as your dress watch as well. And you can see that it's nowhere near overlapping the edges of my wrist, and my wrist is just 16 centimeters in circumference. But my, does it feel heavy. Rolex bracelets and cases are so solid that a gold Rolex watch on a bracelet feels like a platinum watch from any other brand. Now, of course, we have some elements that are distinctive of Rolex. We have the three-link oyster-style bracelet. We have the conforming end link to better integrate the bracelet to the case. We have polished centers, uh, polished outer faces to the links. We also have satin shoulders, removable links fixed by screws. We have a couple of those on both sides. We have a five millimeter easy link, tool-free snap-in, snap-out adjustment system. And then inside the clasp, you can see there are three little divots drilled, and they even have little tracks next to them. So when you use your strap tool, it's easier to change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp by moving the spring bar into any of these three different anchoring points to fine-tune. So you have easy link, removable links, and then these three divots. You can see there are polished thick gauge swing arms, and then we have this double locking system that starts with a lever locking that's spring-loaded. You can see the beak and the hook. That latches once, and then we have a clamshell that latches on top of that with a little curve so you can dig your nail in and open up the clamshell lock. Taking a look at the case, it's polished on its flanks as well as its lug hoods. The case is beautifully tapered and handsomely curvaceous. Unlike the GMTs, the subs, and the sea dwellers, this is not the super case. We have screw down crown, screw down pusher, 100 meter water resistance, trip lock crown in gold. You know that because there are three dots, but the center dot is the big one, so it's a trip lock in gold. We have a gold tachymeter scale, which can be used along with the chronograph seconds hand to gauge the speed of an object moving relatively fast. So the tachymeter used to gauge speed, telemeter used to gauge distance. That is the difference here. And of course, the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph Daytona is the official winner's gift for each driver in each class winning car at the annual Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona Endurance Sports Car event at Daytona in Florida. Now that happens each January. And though for example, an active Formula One driver could easily buy a Rolex Daytona. They actively compete, even while driving in Formula One. They will make the pilgrimage to Florida to try to win the most coveted trophy in motorsports. Taking a quick look at the dial, it is Black Mother of Pearl. Now, of course, Black Mother of Pearl creates the impression of something much darker, I think, in the mind's eye. The reality is it has an extravagant, almost holographic rainbow spectrum and an apparent depth to it that's almost like the chatoyancy of French polish. We have sub-registers that are Vidman statin pattern, oxidized meteorite that have then been yellow gold gilded. Each one has a polished gold chapter ring. We have yellow gold hands, yellow gold indices, yellow gold Rolex crown, and then all of those are 18 karat to prevent oxidizing or tarnishing over time. We have brilliant gems, they are brilliant cut, and they are laser matched, so they have the same color and clarity, and they are set by hand, something that is all too rare in modern Rolex watchmaking. Now this watch 
is automatic winding, 100 meters water resistant, and as a sports watch, it is fairly well loomed. You can see Rolex's signature chromolite blue loom that they make in-house. Rolex, in fact, makes the dials, the hands, the movements, the cases, bracelets, and clasps of its watches, and all of these features have been created for this watch by Rolex. You can see solid case back. Some people often ask to see that on Rolex watches, so I show it to you, but it never changes. We have screw-down pushers. We have a column wheel vertical clutch chronograph. So the column wheel makes the feel and the sound crisp. The vertical clutch means the engagement is without any jump or stagger. And further, because the vertical clutch creates no additional wear and tear, you can just leave it running without wearing down your watch or hastening the service. You can also appreciate that the watch bi-directional automatic winding has a 72-hour power reserve, pivots on 44 joules internally. It has an 8 beat per second rate. It is a COSC chronometer, but Rolex goes cases up that certified movement and tests it to no worse than minus two plus two seconds for 24 hours as a fully built watch that is the superlative chronometer standard. The watch does feature hacking or stop seconds and it has a full balance bridge, a free sprung index, and a winding rotor bearing. Those three features contributing to shock tolerance. The watch also has a handmade or I should say hand shaped Breguet overcoil hairspring to help it keep excellent time in any position on your wrist or during all those chronometer tests. The hairspring is made of a blue oxidized niobium zirconium called Parachrom Blue. It is highly anti-magnetic. Rolex makes everything on this watch right down to the lubricants that are used. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.